The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukur Buratai, has urged the media to ensure proper scrutiny before disseminating information to the public in the interest of national security. Buratai said this at the media conference organized by the Nigerian Army titled Enhancing Media-Military Relationship for Effective Fight Against Terrorism and Insurgency in Nigeria in collaboration with the Nigerian Guild of Editors and Journalism Practitioners. Buratai taxed media professionals to ensure dissemination of factual information at the appropriate time. We are as leading media practitioners in this fight is key to shaping public opinion by reporting what is right as at when do to avoid putting the lives of security agencies in danger and indeed the life of Nigerians. In your capacity as editors, you have the responsibility of finding details of events, possibly by getting in touch with the military command before going to press. When this is observed, it will go a long way in addressing some of the challenges faced in reported issues affecting national security. It is important to note that the leakage of vital information on military operations, like the ongoing fight against the Boko Haram terrorists, is inimical to national security, as this will give our position to the terrorists and give them upper hand in their psychological war against the troops. In this regard, I want to request the media to bear with us and exercise patience while we remain committed to carrying you along in the discharge of our various military operations in line with the military constitutional roles and international best practices. The Minister of Information and Culture, Alhajilai Mohammed, represented by Mrs. Grace Itsu, appealed to the media not to endanger peaceful coexistence in the effort to be the first to break sensitive news to the public. The Nigerian media should therefore reduce the desire of breaking sensitive news first for the sake of our national security. News should be verified before publishing. Let us not break Nigeria by the urge of breaking news. This war cannot be won without the deep cooperation of the entire structure of the media. <coughs> Just as the army keeps changing its strategy, the media should also change strategy and almost regard the army as one of their own. <coughs> the representative of the chairman of the occasion on his path said both the military and the media are all working for Nigeria and should have good understanding of their operations. There was some kind of misunderstanding between the media constituency and that of the military. Both of them are constitutionally assigned responsibilities for the military to keep Nigeria secure, for the media to keep the government accountable, and Nigeria to be informed. So both of them are working for the interests promotion of the interests, protecting the security, as well as advancing the development of this country. The only thing is that they have different approaches. One is in the security sector, the other is in the information sector. Chief Tony Radia also urged media professionals to be factual in their reportage of sensitive issues and to have specialized reporters attached to the military for effective coverage. The army needs to have friends. It's good to have specialist reporters for the army that you can relate with. One of the good things in accreditation is that it provokes simultaneous dissemination. You have three, four people working with you from different media houses. They all report you at the same time, and the impact becomes greater. In fact, when one of them misquotes you, before you even say anything, three, four others have corrected it by their own reports. So you get a lot, you prevent misquotations. But in all of this, you must never create a vacuum. 